Hey everybody, today we're going to check out this Tex Avery art book. Uh, one of the books that I purchased when I was working in animation and storyboards just to kind of check out what one of the greats uh, was like and what he was doing and, you know, how to, you know, learn from him. Uh, this, I think you can still find this book uh, in stores or in used bookstores. I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's out of print, but... Um, it's definitely a great book with a lot of very cool uh, model sheets in it and stuff. Like stuff like this, I think this is very valuable for learning uh, storyboards and animation. Got a foreword by William Hanna. Introduction by the great Chuck Jones. Uh, John Canemaker, uh, you know, writing the book uh, was definitely a film and animation historian. There's a lot of cool stuff here about uh, text. Uh, his history, his style, where he went from Warner Brothers to MGM, and, you know, just influenced everybody. So here we have uh, the first years were the MGM years, 1942. Uh, very cool stuff that he did. He did a lot of war cartoons, and there's a Blitz Wolf, which was an anti-war cartoon. And here we have some really amazing, uh, you know, layout drawings next to a color cell image um rich hogan animation by ed love urban spence ray abrams preston blair obviously one of the greats but um you know this book has a lot of really great stuff drawings posters um stories from the studios and you know definitely uh things to look at are these model sheets they're they're very cool, great to draw from. They show, you know, how to draw the characters. There's a breakdown of his style. Um, so you can really learn a lot from these books. Um, and there's some uh, imagery from, uh, uh, this was uh, Red Hot Riding Hood, I believe. Some droopy stuff. Um, and, and these are really cool too because these books have like just a uh, keyframe you know, screenshots of keyframes of some of Tex's greatest stuff. This I'm pretty sure was Preston Blair. I'm not sure who the animator was here, but the eye popper is something he was definitely famous for. Um, this is some really cool posing out of animation. Pretty sure this is Preston Blair. Um, really cool, amazing background art. That's really cool. Great stuff to uh, study if you're, um, you know, into animation and backgrounds. I think it's uh, really great to just be able to look at the Bee Gees without the cells on them. Uh, who Killed Who? Might have been an inspiration for Who Killed Roger Rabbit. Who knows? Um, again, some great model sheets. Breakdown. The drawings, I think you can learn a lot from looking at those, studying those. Um, and then here, this book is really cool because it has a lot of uh, cell, uh, you know, pencil drawings before the inking. And I find this stuff very, very cool if you can look at some of that stuff. Very useful to study the uh, animation drawings. Like, look at this. Animation drawing on animation paper. It's just so much rawness there. Like, that's really the animator doing his thing before the inker came in and messed it up. No, not all inkers mess stuff up, but some of them were rushed. And um, sometimes you do lose a little if the um, inker isn't right on. But, but some of these drawings right here, like this stuff is great. Great to study that stuff. Um, 1944, Screwy Squirrel. Definitely a famous cartoon by Tex Avery. Um, this stuff is just great. These drawings right here, any kind of model sheet, if you're studying animation, it's good to just practice from this, draw this, draw it over, push the poses. You know, look at these animation drawings here. This is just a great little sequence. And, um, you know, great sequence of acting, posing, the hands, I mean, everything. Um... Great classic text. Again, the, the guys really like these model sheets. 
and they were really important to animation. They're important now, but back in the day to see that stuff, how they did it in this classic style was, was pretty amazing. Um, you know, great stuff, screwy squirrel. And um, these, uh, some animation historian will probably know who drew those. They were probably guys from the studio. But more drawings. I think that's Beaky Buzzard. Great stuff. You know, these model sheets are great to look at. And then more, um, you know, animation, you know, drawings before the ink. I mean, this is just great with the notes. You could just see the rough stuff. You could see where he wants effects. But just really amazing. You know. Big Bad Wolf, Little Red Riding Hood. But just to see what they were thinking in these model sheets is great. Uh, there's a great Preston Blair of Red Hot Riding Hood. I mean, look at that. The drawing. I mean, so sometimes I like the drawing better than the cell. Wild and Wolfy. Again, more model sheets. These are great to study up close. Um, just very cool breakdowns of, you know, some of probably John Kingmaker's favorite scenes. Um, just great to see the, 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 the character. Look, look at the cartooniness of these. Look at that. I mean, that's classic text right there. Um, more crazy expressions, antics with these birds. I mean, look at, there's the drawing, there's the cell. Um, it's just great to just see how the animation happened, you know. This is great to see this, just so you can study the drawings. When it's animated, it goes by so fast, but here you can do like a little study. Try to recreate this yourself. Um, great, and again, model sheet for study. Um, classic text, and some of this stuff too, you can see the little notes follow for hand position, but look at, look at the, if you can look close at that drawing, the facial, the faces on that are just super cool. Well done, well drawn. Um, these are great, breaking down the animation, animation drawing there. This is from Bums Away, but just everything in that model sheet, if you can see that, is just a wealth of knowledge of how to draw in animation. Um, anytime I can look at classic model sheets, I'll do it. I have a whole collection of them. I should whip that out in a book, and you guys can check it out because it's got a lot of really cool stuff. Um, again, <coughs> more model sheets. Just really great stuff. Uncle Tom's Cabana. This was one of those blackface cartoons that was um, has since been banned. Um, but, you know, still great drawing and uh, technical ability in there. Um, again, uh, some blackface cartoons that, you know, are not uh, appropriate uh, in this day and age, but, um, you know, back then, I think, uh, I, I don't know if it was accepted, but, you know, most studios did them. You know, of course, we wouldn't do stuff like that today, but um, it was just kind of the stuff that, you know, studios, that they did, that they didn't have a problem making fun of all sorts of people. Um, little uh, Red Hot Riding Hood. There's a poster from uh, Uncle Tom's Cabana. Slap Happy Lion, great model sheet. And here's some really great... Um, animation drawings like look at this like that's an amazing piece of work if you guys can see that check that out study that if you get this book draw that like as many times as you can just great uh, and it's great to see you know the breakdown of the animation here you know, good to study um, more pencil drawings which I find really cool to see what the artist was thinking and just to see the pencil line, a little bit of shading in there. Uh, King Size Canary model sheet. Um, this is a very, this is a classic cartoon if you can ever see it. 1948, well-priced Liedem. 
again, cool model sheets. Um, I don't know if they're crediting the model sheets. Model sheet drawn by Gil Turner and Walter Clinton, 1946, uh, for this one. I think those guys were either animators or character designers. Um, Snowbound, great animation model sheets. Um, uh, animation model sheets by Louis Schmidt. But really great stuff. Um, Half Pint Pygmy, directed by Tex Avery. Um, this is another uh, MGM cartoon. Model sheet drawn by Louis Schmidt. Uh, Half Pint Pygmy. Some other stuff. I think this is an MGM cartoon. Um, Half Pint Pygmy, again, another one of those blackface cartoons. Uh, Lucky Ducky. Uh, very cool model sheet if you're looking to draw animals. I mean, these guys could do it all. Um, great model sheets here for, um, you know, some anthropomorphic characters. Look at that lucky ducky. The cat who hated people. I mean, pretty amazing. These model sheets are just a wealth of knowledge if you want to do cartoony stuff. Bad Luck Blackie. Again, more model sheets. Animals, just the breakdown. Expression poses. Um, there's some droopy stuff. Again, goes into like these animation drawings, which whoever has these in their collection is just blessed to have them. Um, great, more dogs. And these are cool too. These, these are some background illustrations that before they were painted, they were really done in this, um, you know, drawn and shaded style. I mean, I just love looking at this stuff. It's probably done on like cheap paper and all faded by now, but it's great to look at. Again, these two, these background drawings are just phenomenal. Um, and, you know, every painted background has a drawing to go with it that somebody drew. And um, who knows what happened to all that stuff, but they probably just didn't value it. But look at look at the quality of that stuff. I mean, it's just great. Some more cool model sheets. Into 1950s. Uh, I think the budgets were going down, but I think Tex was still doing really cool stuff. But the budgets were, um, you know, they always complain about the budgets getting cut. And they had to do more limited animation, but I think they made the best of it. It's a great little cute character garden gopher uh, again cool model sheet with in red the character is drawn on there you know so they're like drawing right on the bg to show what it is but that's it's just a great tree um again more of these hand-drawn backgrounds i mean can you imagine just looking at one of these for every background in every cartoon it, it exists somewhere or they're destroyed but just a phenomenal drawing um, pencil drawing by Ed Benedict. Okay, so Ed Benedict is, um, you know, well-known for designing the Flintstones and working for Hanna-Barbera. But, I mean, look at the craftsmanship. Guy could do backgrounds, characters, everything. Amazing. Benedict and Benedict here. And you can see the little drawings of what was going to happen in the animation. Just great stuff. And um, here you can see the background's getting a little more designy, abstract in the 50s. You know, this is obviously a 50s inspired background. Um, original gouache background, I'm trying to see story. Walter doesn't say who the background guy was. But you can see a little, probably, you know, less detailed. They had to do it quicker. But still, beautiful BG. 1952. Still classic Tex. Magical Maestro is a great cartoon. Oh, this is a this is a classic too. One Cap's Family. If you've never seen that, it's a brilliant cartoon. Um, as you can see, the style's changing, but still Tex. You know, look at this. More flat color designed. You know, similar to what Maurice Noble was doing. Um, this is a cell painting in background. Background with Vera Omen. Not sure who that is. 
um, story by Heck Allen. But great model sheets. You know, great to study the drawings. Uh, here's some, you know, look at great background. Background painting, but it's great. I love this black and white stuff. I don't know if there's a... I don't know if there's a credit for that, but look, I mean, that stuff is just, it's a beaut. Look at that. I mean, I'm drooling right now. Um, great drawings. Look at that hillbillies. Look at that. You see a little difference in the backgrounds in the 50s, but cool to see. That's a cell on BG. More model sheets. 1955. There's some storyboards. I'm surprised they didn't have more storyboards in this book, but there's a few right there. Um, more cells. Another great background. Look at that. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Great stuff. And in the back, MGM filmography of Tex Avery. You can look at all this stuff. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff right there. John Carpenter wrote it, back cover with the wolf, but a great book, Tex Avery by John Canemaker. Um, it's possible to find this in used bookstores or eBay or everywhere. I'm pretty sure it's out of print, but a great wealth of knowledge for anyone looking to uh, get into animation or study animation, storyboarding, cartooning, comic books, whatever. Um, Anyway, thanks for checking it out, and I'll be posting some more stuff soon.